Good morning. Uh, I want to do a short video to show you how to um, set up uh, Response Magic on your uh, computer. So um, let's get started. I'm going to share my screen and go to Response Magic. Here we go. First, you have to set up uh, an account on Response Magic. So um, we'll just click here where it says free account. And then I'm going to set this up in my husband's uh, his account. He doesn't have one. So we'll put in his name, his email address, and get rid of that. And then we'll set up a username for him. Uh, he always likes to use Joji. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four. And then, or no, that's for his username. I'm just going to use Joji. And then for his password, um, and so he's not a robot, although sometimes he acts like one. And then click on create my free account. Uh, username already exists. So, okay, so we'll use Jogo. See if that works there. Okay, now I'm gonna select the country, which is United States. Oh, uh, where'd they go? United States, state, we're in Ohio. City is Centerville. My information's already in here, so that's why it um, populates. Now, I'm not going to put a credit card in here because I'm just going to use the free. Um, it won't let you take this out, but I'm still not going to put my credit card information in there. And then I'm going to go down here and say no thanks because I don't want to use their SMN, SMS text messaging service uh, because we have our own SMS uh uh, text message text messaging service that we use. So I'm going to say no thanks. Okay, that takes me to the next page where I can fill in Joe's telephone number, which is 937-974-183. He's going to kill me for using that. I, I think I'm going to put my 373-884-876. I don't want people calling him. Um, address is the same as mine. So this is all filled out. Now, business category, this is going to be company, organization, or institution. And then business type is going to be network marketing. And then click, I agree to the terms and services. You have to agree or you can't go any further. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Um, I'm gonna go down here and click submit and then save that address. Okay, now you're ready to create your first customer magnet. Okay, the first time you create your customer magnet, you're going to select website prospects or you can create a new list if you want, but your first one should always be pro uh, website prospects. Your call to action, that's gonna be your headline right here. And you're going to want to use um, Oh, where's my, hold on just a second. I have it. Uh, an example that I always use here. Um, we're gonna say, sign up. Oh, actually mine's already in there because I've done it so many times. Sign up to be notified of new offers. And Roy says not to use red. So we're going to use, um, we're going to change this to green and um, click on the green. And then I want to use a dark green. So this is going to be the green that I use. Now, if you want to make um, everything the same color, just make sure that you write down that color profile right down here, the three F. See, it's 3F911E. And then you have to uh, you have to click on choose to get that to change. See, it changed to green. And then uh, we're going to go down to 
Number three, create questions. What information would you like to gather from your prospects? Okay, now already we have first name, last name, and valid uh, email address. For these to be mandatory, you have to click the little snowflake and it turns it red. So now they have to put in their first name, they have to put in their last name. Now, if you wanna add other information, you click here and you can add other name or other fields that you want to add. I always add the telephone field. I do not make it mandatory. Sometimes if you make the telephone number mandatory, they won't fill out the form. So I don't make the telephone number mandatory. I do wanna get their um, email address, but uh, the telephone I leave as optional. Now you can also create a custom uh, field. So if you want to uh, put in a, um, a custom field, like, uh, um, let's see, we'll say uh, time zone. So you can uh, type in, you can ask for their, uh, their time zone. So now we have a custom field in there. So uh, our orb, and it says, some people don't know what time zone they're in. So you could put city and state. That way you can figure out what time, oops, city and state. That way you can figure out what time zone they're in. So there, and you can make that mandatory so that you know what time zone they're in. Okay, now on your uh, choose submit, that's this button right here. So uh, you can leave that as um, get access or uh, how did I miss call to action? Oh, your call to action. I'm sorry, go back up here for your call to action, which is this button right here. Um, you want to give them a call to action. So um, I would say sign up now or sign up today. Uh, I like sign up now. So we're going to put that in there and that just uh, is black so you don't have a color option on that okay now we're going to go down to the choose submit button um, get instant access or I'm going to say don't miss out so you would type that in don't miss out and then that button is already green but you again you can do that and put it make it the same um, you can change the color and put in the color that um, the other button was three F nine L L E. Now that makes it exactly the same color. Got an error. Three F nine L L E and choose. What was the error? There's three F, three F, nine, L, L, E, shoes. I guess you have to move this around until you get there. I've seen Sheila do this and she just typed it in. I don't know why it's not working for me. Oh, well, that's close enough. That's close enough. Anyway, but that's how you do it. If you want to play with it, I don't want to take up my time on, on the video doing it, but that's how you do it. Um, option five, do you want to allow prospects to fill out the form by using the Facebook account landing pages only? No, I want them to fill out my form on my page. And then um, to start collecting multiple numbers from your opt-in pages, um, don't do that. Just skip over that. Uh, because we're going, we have our own SMS uh, uh, numbers that we're going to use, and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, append your privacy statement. The privacy statement is this statement down here. Um, I agree to give Nell Galinsky permission to send me future emails. I understand that I can opt out at any time in the future. So um, I'm going to change this to Joe Galinsky because I'm doing this for him. Well, I guess I should make it all caps just to be in the same form. 
Okay, so now Joe is is in there. Now you can also add your um, your your website uh, URL in there if you want to. Um, I usually just leave my name, but that's up to you. And do you wish to receive an email notification every time someone fills out this form? I say yes, because I want to know when somebody fills out the form. And what I do is I send them a thank you note. Thank you for uh, signing up on my website. And um, just, uh, you know, thank you. And uh, I'll be sending you uh, updates from now, you know, from time to time. So, yes, I want to know. So um, that's a good thing if you want to do that. And then what action do you want to take once the form is spelled out and submitted? Stay on the page or you can send them to a custom URL. So that's up to you. If you want to uh, send them to uh, like a thank you page, you can type that in there or you can have them stay on the page after they sign up. That's, that's totally up to you. Okay, now go back up and look at your form. Make sure that you don't have any uh, spelling errors, that you have everything on here that you want. Uh, and it's correct because uh, if you've made a mistake and you notice that after you get it on your website, you can't come back in here and change it or correct it. You have to create a whole new form. So I'm going to click submit and get code. Now the code that you want is, is this code in this box. So I'm going to do control C to copy it. Now I'm going to go to Joe's Facebook page or Facebook, Joe's website. And I'm going to go up here to where it says Joe's Uncle Fred says. I'm going to go to widgets and get rid of this. I want to put this on all my pages or all his pages. So I'm going to click here where it says add block and look for HTML. I don't see it here, so I'm going to click on Browse All. And it's usually the third in the, yeah, under Widgets. Click on Custom HTML. Put your cursor in the box and click uh, uh, Control V to apply. Now you can click on Preview to see what it's going to look like. It looks good to me. So click Update. Now we've just placed it on the left of his menu. So we can close that. Now we're going to go to the right content sidebar. We're going to click on the box and we're going to do the same thing. Custom HTML, do control V to paste. We're going to preview and it looks good. So we're going to update. You have to update after every time you place the uh, place something in a widget. Otherwise it won't be there when you look for it. Okay, now we're going to go to uh, the website and look for the um, uh, the response magic form and this is the home page and right there it is this is the other pages and you see it's on every one of the pages so that's how you do it so that is my training for today and uh, I hope you um, learned how to do your response magic form and uh, if you have any questions uh, please feel free to uh, get back to me and uh, I'm going to stop sharing this and I hope that will